So John, for BCN networking, should customers go with a 10 gig or should they go with 25 gig or even faster? So what I like to say is 25 is the new 10. Um, and there's a number of reasons for this. One, it's faster. You know, it's two and a half times bigger, so it can move two and a half times more packets. Um, but it's actually more than that. So some other things to note is if you've got some 10 gig switches in your environment, they're probably pretty old. There's a good chance that's a really old ASIC. It could be some Broadcom Trident one from, you know, 10 plus years ago. Then there's other things that will be slower on that. That switch that's attached to that will have lower PPS, packets per second. It'll have lower buffer. If we go to 25 gig, we're probably going to have a more modern um, switch ASIC. We're more likely to get more buffer, uh, which helps uh, performance, particularly when there's contention on ports. Uh, there's also lower latency. This is something um, that people don't always realize that the faster Ethernet speeds actually can deliver better latency uh, port to port. We saw that from 1 to 10 and 10 to 25 and so forth. So really at a minimum, if you're buying that new host, buy 25 today. Do you realize that if your networking team is still living in the last decade, um, you can you work around that. So the SFP 28 port um, is backwards compatible and so are cabling. So you can have 25 gig NICs that still use your existing 10 gig cable plant, your existing 10 gig switches. That way you can wait on budget next year to replace those switches and move into kind of the modern networking era. All right. So it sounds like so many more factors than just the theoretical bandwidth of those switches. What a shame it's been that that industry just focuses on uh, that as a reference for speed of a switch. I wish things were better. Yeah, and if you go to the vSAN VCG, you'll actually see we now have a section for NICs, and specifically we're validating um, some NICs there for RDMA and other things. And what you'll find is anything that's on there has a really good ASIC. It's got lots of good offloads. It'll work with NSX, other things. So 